Hello there, um, I am back on RetroShare, you know that application I did a review on in my other older videos, um, I now re, um, I downloaded RetroShare and, uh, they have a port for Linux, so I decided to download that. Um, I posted the, uh, key, I'll post the key in the description of the video. Um, I was using Freenet for a little bit, but then, you know, um, it's, I don't know how to put it kindly, but, uh, there was some stuff on there that I didn't care for, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, but I'm trying to figure out whether I should start up my bit message thing again, or should I just go with RetroShare, because, um, um, bit message is a lot more simpler, and it, all you have to do is, you know, email a single key. But for some reason, the key on uh, RetroShare is greatly um, <clears throat> long. And it's, you know, not friend user-friendly. But, yeah. Um, so, I will post the key to my RetroShare in the description of this video. Um, but... I'm, if you want to see my, uh, bit message, I got that running. Um. I even made my own custom... I even made my own custom startup script for this. Please ignore the, uh, could not resolve host. So what that'll do is that'll start up, and pretty much the reason why the uh, the icon is a bit yellow right now is because I don't have it port forwarded right at the moment because I didn't feel like opening the port. I kind of removed it for some reason, but yeah. So. I'm currently subscribed to a few channels, um, so please comment, should I use BitMessage or should I use RetroShare, because I'm, I, I kind of pulled the plug on the whole Freenet thing, I was going to advertise my, uh, free mail and you can email me through Freenet, but, uh, I've been having great amount of issues with Freenet and the Web of Trust plugin and how that wouldn't load very well. And on top of that, it's not entirely, you know, eh. But, um, nonetheless, well, actually, yeah, I won't, I won't post my, uh, retro share key. I'll just post the comments, should I, um, use bit message or retro share but nonetheless